This game is cute as all heck. It's adorable. It's also kind of dark at times. But it's pretty good. Alright, so Philbo wants to talk to me and we got an interview as well. How you up, doing? Philbs? Gosh, you look hilarious. <laughs> you got that party look again. Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there. Just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow. I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. Why is she carrying around just like I'm an arm? I'm just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> Where's the mill? Oh, the mill. Why did we suddenly go into horror mode? Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, ah. Uh, time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats grumpus. <laughs> no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah! Oh, Grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? Ah. Uh. Philbo. Hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Who's in the bathroom? Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. And it's gone. Well, I'll give it credit. I'm invested in this. Sorry about that. What I miss? 
Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus, for I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there, and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us, yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us, oh, Ooh. No need to freak out. It's probably just a, uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> I think that sound came from the mill. Maybe there's a trail we can follow? I mean, it punched a hole through the mill. Uh, is the trail just pink? Or is that normal? I, does anybody remember if this was painted before? It must have been. It's probably just upstairs in here. Okay, pink is normal. Oh. Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah? Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Ah, uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay! Oh, darn it. Oh well, let's get back and tell the others. You terrify me. Why did he break both barriers? Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> Um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandlo. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandlo was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. 
every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hello, Tiffany. Oh, hi there. Oh, sure. Sounds like a real hoot. She sounds like my people. Why do you have that arm? Who are you? Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this uh. island's chock full of finds. Why do you still have an arm? And your name? Oh, goodness, my name. I'm Triffany Lottablog. I come to Snacktooth. I heard about the trip to Snacktooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. Who's Grandma? You might have heard of Bronica Lottablog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Thoughts on bug snacks? Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. Why'd you leave town? It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Gramble's throat. Is that why you and Wambus split? No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Any info on Lisbert? Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. You two got injured that often? Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so. But the Lottablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabelle. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. What happened to Lizbert? You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lizbert wound up. Thanks, Tiffany. Learned a lot. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... You got something for me? You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Triffany has a locked journal. You'll need a key to open it. I already got the key. That makes this easy. Hi. What you want? Wait, why is this your See bedroom? Ya. Why are you in Philbo's house again? Oh, bestie! I was just looking for you. This is Philbo's house. Back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But like... Everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. <laughs> Bramble, dear, are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry, I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. <sighs> of course you do. Come on, Gramble, surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? 
maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. Oh, it's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Ugh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. Okay, I should probably start catching some things to just chuck in here. I'm really curious about just, like, loading it up with just endless raspies. Oh, hi! Okay, well, we got a new area to check out, so I'm gonna go stick my head in that direction. And then we can decide if we want to keep playing or not. I'm having a good time with this one, but I wouldn't mind switching to something else for a little while. Let's see. She said A. She's Canadian. I'm 99% certain... Uh... I'm 99% certain that she is Minnesotan. Oh, did I miss Filbert being weird? I just kind of zoned out. Pookie. So fast it evades capture. There must be a way to trip it up. Loves whatever that is. Honeybee. These snacks will stick to just about anything, including traps. Well, that's an easy one. Oh, hey, peanut butter. Well, that would explain how to deal with the cookie. Okay, so I think... Okay, I was assuming peanut butter would slow it down, but I guess not. Yeah, so I don't think this is gonna work. There's got to be something else that I I can do on this one. What else do we got? I'm just going to kind of look around and see what we get. I mean, obviously there's honey. Honey seems like an easy gimme. Oh, uh, it's just more honey honeybees. Leave that for now. Hello. Got a clue. All right, we still haven't looked at the uh, the journal either, have we? I'll do that later. Okay, what else do we get around to here? Yeah, I'll launch it into this. Oh, wait, hold up. Idea. I got peanut butter. How does it always land on its feet? Well, one way or another. That ain't gonna do it. Oh, look at you. Sin snail. Very slow, very sticky. Likes to stay far out of reach. Loves... Chocolate? Chocolate. Okay, let's see if...
Oh. Got him. Okay, let's see if I can get the snail. There we go. Man, we're just catching them left and right. So apparently the cookies... Oh, Bobsicle. Freezes anything that touches it. Must be a way to melt its sticky armor. Hates whatever those flies are. Well, I can start trying hot sauce. Okay, so I got I got bops. Okay, let's put this way. I don't think wait, hold up. Okay, let's avoid this for a second. Bopsicle seems kind of like a jerk. He just exists. Okay. I'm gonna put that there. Let's see if I can get the bobsicle pissed at me. Okay, doesn't work. Holy shit. Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandler, I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpinati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! No, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes, I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlo! I have delicate instruments in here and. Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. <laughs> okay. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funkbun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? You come back to Snacksburg? Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> He's a Chad with empathy. Grumpinati. Radio waves. Remove ASAP. Not natural. Why? Snacks factory? Flat. Oh, he's got honey. Oh, he's got a hat. A tinfoil hat. I don't know what that color wheel looking thing is going to be. Oh. Chandler sent me. Oh, he did, did he? My poor, sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Will you come back to Snacksburg? Anything I can do to help? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. I 
about this device from Snorpy? Nice, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. All right, follow me. Let's hope this is just effectively catching easy mode. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but... Snorpy made that grapple thing for me, and I want to see it in action. What's up, Rito? I think I found a game you'd like. Oh. Put them into the basket. Nice shot, bro! This is like if Ooblitz was freaky. Freaky-er. Okay. Nope. Well, that ball's gone for good. Good. It is just respawned. That was a bit of a concern. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. That's just off into the universe. Can you tell I'm terrible at basketball? I think he actually just wants them in these. Yeah. Alright. Well, there's that. Your balls have been secured. That's All concerning. Alright! You got my balls back! That grapple thing is awesome! I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff. Snorpy's a genius, bro! Check it out. There's a cine snail right over there. I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of carbs, but it's actually a master climber. Even I can't keep up with it. I always wanted to climb like that. Hey, see if you can catch me that cine snail, bro. Hoop dreams complete. I'm not getting the cine snail. I always want it. Well, I got a spare one. Bubble. Ow. Bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. Okay, let's try chocolate. Like, it just gets freaked out when I try to grab it with a grappling hook. Yeah, do you want a hint with a grappling hook? Yeah, absolutely. I, I will take a hint on how to catch these things. <laughs> what the hell? Yep. I just... This game is bonkers in all of the best possible ways. Oh, traps can be... Wait, traps... Oh, I got it. That's how that works. So that's how we get extra Sinus Tales. Okay, so not quite... Oh. Well, I guess I might be able to use this to get back up. What else do we have? What is this? Ah! That's a proper shortcut. So now I can just break the... Alright! This works! Yeah, I can't grab them. But that's fine, I don't need to. What does this sign say? It's an arrow. Okay. 
And we still got the Bobsicle. Okay, so the Bobsicle is just way too big. 